Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for April 21st until 27th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Scorpio. Looks like there will be a heartbreak between you and a fire sign. Huh. It's not really gonna last. Let's see if you'll still get back together. Okay, now there will be some big communications and big news that will be happening, okay? And it seems like there is an attempting water sign you know to be a part of your life even though you're already committed at this point and you are just trying to do your work or you're just busy working but then there is someone who is trying to tempt you or flirt with you or seduce you into getting into an affair now be very careful as i feel like this person is very selfish and they're not even thinking you know what are the consequences or what will be you know the repercussions of their actions in case that some things will just, you know, burst out um, between you and uh, this person. Now, better think twice if you wanted to get involved with someone, as I feel like it, this will be, this is more likely a pattern of the past, okay? And if you will be going through this, then you will just repeat whatever happened in the past. This is a lesson, and this is just a test for you, so don't give in, okay? And this person has been trying to roam around you. Ah, they cannot be really trusted. And they're just going to get you into a lot of trouble. They're looking for someone to be their hero. Okay. Now, it seems like you will be breaking up with a fire sign this week. And you will be, you know, it's like you're somewhat ready. You're, you're preparing for this. But then, you know, still a part of you hurts. And then... You will be looking at the brighter side of life and you feel like this is the perfect time for me to love myself again and to find myself again. The two of you will be far away from each other for roughly two days or two weeks and then the two of you will be thinking about one another tremendously. You will try so hard, you know, not to see this person but unfortunately the other person is the one who will be finding a way to travel back to you. And because that they cannot really go through the disappointments, break up, frustrations, disappointments and, you know, um, you know, the uh, well disasters you know that they're going to be incurring and they're going to come back to you they're going to come back to you and uh, with you it's like you just want to run away and walk away but then there will be a brand new beginning that awaits both of you there is only a lesson to learn that in a relationship it is a partnership and not a competition it's not a work that someone needs to be the boss and someone needs to be the slave okay there needs to be some more equality and this is what you have already forgotten to practice and to you know to um apply in your relationship or in your situation now there is also some issues about having a child or, or that you're waiting for your child to to be born or that you're waiting to get pregnant and it seems like you need to slow down from working okay you need to divide your time and you need to balance your life more likely that more money will be coming your way this week and there will be more work so of course that when there's more money than more work that's what it means and things around your work will be like swirling you know positively and you'll be very happy with how things are going to be turning out to be because you've been anticipating for this moment to come you know it's like you're already tired of the um uh what do you call this the uh pattern or the uh it's like too stagnant you know it's like when it's uh number five it's al it's always number five you want to go number six seven eight nine ten okay you want to go higher so this is the start of your brand new beginning, of your improvement, um, and of your development as well. And there, there are some things in the past, like old habits, old practice, that you'll be walking away from. And that, you know, there are some things 
that you need to balance and that you need to work upon when it comes to your workplace or when it comes to your work. And be careful in spending. I'm not saying that you're going to be struggling, but then while you while the flow is strong, while the current is unstoppable, try to look for another resource to channel it, you know, to make it grow, to invest, okay? Instead of just um, spending here and there. And one last thing is that you need to talk to someone, okay, about what your expectations about one another. And even though it's going to be a, a rough ride, you know, at first, in a rough new beginning, definitely you will be reaching up to the peak of your success, okay? So, hmm. just be very careful with someone who's an air sign that will be. Uh, betraying you and someone who will also try to play tricks on you and there is also someone who is acting like a friend but as but actually this person is a liar it's a water sign okay that will be um that will be uh, saying some lies to you you know what you're at you're also <coughs> getting um attracted to an earth sign at this point even though both of you are already taken be very careful in playing with fire otherwise you're just gonna get burned all together and <clears throat> it seems like you will also start looking into houses or moving okay and this will happen in the month in the time of gemini all right, so anyway, that's it for you for this week, Scorpio. If you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.